ah, 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 me so horny. Ah, 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 me so horny. I don't have a voice today. <clears throat> ah, me so horny. Ah, 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 me so horny. Anyway, that's by request. That was horrible. I don't know what happened to my voice. This is First Amendment Audit, U.S. Post Office, Fayetteville, North Carolina. That's the title of the video if you want to watch it without listening to me. It's uh, by the channel, Jeff is here audits. Jeff is here audits. Cop slash cop watches. Subscribe to him. Go there now. Do it now. Don't even watch my video. Don't even listen to me anymore. Go to Jeff is here audits cop watcher and watch this without listening to me. For those of you who are still here, um, um, this guy's doing an audit basically of a post office. Uh, he he has to explain to eight plus people that all work for the government how the First Amendment works and that he's allowed to be doing what he's doing, and they should actually be telling the postal employees that they're wrong. And that they filed a criminal or false complaint, which should be criminal. I think it is, actually. So here we go. It's going to go by when he's starting to walk into the post office here. A poster seven yet. Let's see what we got in here. We got just some pamphlets here. Just a couple of pamphlets and stuff. Some boxes, some uh, tape, some uh, folders, and and such. Some cards, in case you forgot your spouse's birthday or grandpa's birthday or whatever. They're watching me, and I'm watching them. Can help you, yeah. No, I'm good, man. Well, why are you taking pictures in here? You can't do that. Yes, I can. No, sir, you cannot. Oh, uh, okay. Now, mind you, this guy says he cannot. Now, he says you can. This is my thing. This is what I don't understand about stupid people. And maybe this is why they're stupid. If you're going to over and over and over say that you that a person can't do something they're doing, what are you basing that on? What, what gives you such a strong conviction that they're not allowed to do it what are you basing it on because you're 100 percent wrong but you keep insisting 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 that you're right just like the police do it's like a government disease almost like you get infected when you get into the government like it, when i say something that's it because i work for the government when in fact most of the time you're wrong why is that Really? Yes. What's your name, sir? I'm not telling nothing. Just leave, sir. Larry, huh? I can I can film here, man. You ever heard of the First Amendment? Yeah, but you can't film in here. Yes, I can. I can film in here. Yeah, but you can't film in here. This is the face of an ignorant American right here. Gotcha. Time to step up the tyranny. Since you won't take my arbitrary, unlawful command. <clears throat> this is a free country. Yeah. <clears throat> Nothing government employees hate more than exposure, man. They just scatter. Says I can't film in here, guys. What do y'all think about that? Huh. Why are you filming in here, sir? I'm just documenting the post office, man. That's it. Just for, for my personal use. That's it, man. I ain't hurting nobody with this camera. It's yeah. legal. It's legal to do. No, they got regulations that said you cannot. Uh, you're supposed to have a, a poster seven. So he just lied again and doubled down on his lie. And, uh, that says I'm I'm totally legal to come in here and film. That's fine. If you want to call the cops, that's fine. Maybe they'll educate you. We'll just call the cops. Okay, go ahead. I'm, I mean, I'll sit here and wait on them. Wow. 
So y'all don't know the rules, huh? Wow. About filming in the post office? Yes, sir. They, put out uh, they put out a memo saying that it's legal no, to come in here and film. film. As long as it ain't, as long as I'm not news. He's lying again. Or in, uh, as long as I'm. The post office worker's lying again. I'm not posting it for um, benefit. Call the postal inspector. They'll let you know what's up. We're going to call the police, sir. Okay. This ain't the... You're going to see how much the police and the postal inspector hate the law and the Constitution. You're going to see this video really uh, showcases how much government employees hate the actual law and the Constitution that protects the people. First post office I've been in, guys. Without regulation. It's not okay. Well, I'm sorry. I just made up the word regulation. If I keep saying regulation, regulation. All right. Okay. You got to do what you got to do, man. There's a guy's name right here. <clears throat> so now. They gonna call people with guns because I got a camera. That's right. If it's if this space is publicly accessible, I'm I'm allowed to come and film. I am part of the public. Well, we let Okay, that's fine. We'll let the post inspector and the police handle that for you. Excuse me? Okay. Every day. I'm not bothering nobody. There's nobody in here to bother. So this part, they're, <coughs> they're calling in a, a false complaint here. They're saying he's harassing. He's literally in there like anybody else would be on any other day except he has a camera. And for some reason, that really scares government employees. And you'll see. In about two minutes. Hey, that's your right to film, to take pics. And back. Police lies. Lying on the phone to the police. 5G. Oh, it ain't but a hop, skip, so and a jump. So now he's outside. Away from. We'll see. Postmaster, the postmaster doesn't want you to come back in. It don't matter what they want. It's the first. So right away, the cop comes and talks to the postmaster. Postmaster says they don't want you here. Which doesn't matter. He's allowed to be there. That's the part they can't wrap their minds around that he's allowed to be there. And he's allowed to be there and he's allowed to film. They just can't deal with it for some reason. Amendment says I can do this. Okay. So you... I suggest they, they learn to. Okay. Oh. Okay, but you're threatening. She said I'm you're not threatening, threatening nobody. No, ma'am. They lie. There's a lie. And of course, this lady gives them the benefit of the doubt. So there's a lie. He has it on film. They've lied. They've made a false report now. So the cops should now be taking them in for making a false report. The guy was perfectly within his rights to be doing what he's doing. Through their teeth. I got it all on film. Okay. I didn't okay. threaten nobody. She's, yeah, she just said that you were threatening. They lied. And the female customers they, were in They there. lied. They want nobody in there a while ago. I held the door. And threatening the female customers. There was no one in there. A female customer came in as he was going out. She held the door open for him. Well, for an old lady okay. and walked out. Okay. They lying like a... Uh. I think people get uncomfortable with the camera. Uh, well, they, they own them. And there's the truth. People get uncomfortable with the camera. Too bad. Get over it. You're wearing a camera. There's a camera in there. There's a camera everywhere. I'm probably being filmed right now by my Xbox. Punk ass Xbox. Oh, day everywhere. You you got yours on? Okay, sure. good. <laughs> uh, and, and your your uh, your name? Tudor. You got a badge number? I do. Can I get it for you? It's right there. Yeah. Oh, come on. You can't just say it. One, seven, three. Yep. You can't. Uh, it's not hard to say. Um, 
Do you do tattoos here, man? Yeah. Uh, in Spring Lake. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They're not prison tattoos. No, I, 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 I have yeah. I have to wear long sleeves because I have. I understand. I understand. So, understand. Yeah. So yep. I was just right. Um, but no, it's. It, it, I mean, I'm sure. If that's not the may I speak to a manager a haircut, I don't know what is. I don't know if <laughs> I was at Spring Lake Post Office day before uh, day before yesterday. Okay, Are you making like man, a documentary? Or man something, freaked out. Or? I just filmed government facilities. This ain't the only one I've come to. Is there no reason behind it? You just do it because you want to. I, I just post them all to show how ignorant government employees and police are. And he's doing a fantastic job so far. Um, you too. So. Okay. So what's your name, man? You know mine, so what's yours? Good citizen. The you know my name technique. How'd that work out for you? I just want to know who I'm talking to. I'm a good citizen, man. I, I mean, that's all I'm going to give you right now. All right. This is, you know, this is not a stopping out of East State. I mean, I just wanted to know who I'm talking to. So. Okay. <laughs> like I said... I, I mean, I, I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but I would look into it. They're supposed to have a poster, it's, uh, a, a, a thing on the plaque on the wall. It's called Poster 7. It explains who can come in and do what. Okay. Photography and journalists can go in there. So now she's been informed of Poster 7. And film the corridors, hallways. I mean, you know what I'm saying? As long as they... You understand why people feel uncomfortable. That's right. That ain't my... It doesn't matter, so quit. That's a moot point. It doesn't matter as far as the law goes. People are going to have to get over that. And we're going to make sure they get over it. And we're going to make sure you guys get over it. It's called government accountability. I know you haven't had it in decades because not everyone has had a camera in their pocket. But uh, times, they are a-changing, homies. Problem if they feel uncomfortable, though. Okay. I mean, I can't okay. go around well, thinking everybody minute. feels uncomfortable. I'm going to talk to the clerk for a minute. And I'll be but back. like I said, she lied through her teeth. Okay. So I'm going to go in there and catch her in this lie. Will you stay out here for a minute? Oh, no. She's going to protect the, the lady. Why can't he get her statement on the record against him? Why would you be protecting her right now? You're going to talk to this officer right here, and I'm going to go inside. Okay? All right, well. All right, whatever. I forgot to say, am I being detained? Morning. Who am I talking to? Officer Delgado. Say that one more time. Delgado. Delgado. Okay. Yes, Badge number 474. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How can we be of service today, sir? I, I didn't ask for no help. Okay. But what seems to be the problem? Where are I we here? I don't have a problem. You don't have a problem? Nope. Okay. Hey, uh, excuse me, Mr. Police. Can you move so I get out? Yes, sir. One moment. I appreciate it. That's another thing police like to do. Just park wherever they feel like it. If there's parking spaces open, why wouldn't you park? in a parking space because a guy with a camera or a sawzall next it's going to be a drill oh man someone thought your dust buster was a laser gun exposed there she is there's the head cockroach or one of them anyway so this is the lady who who uh, made a false police report right here. You think she's gonna be arrested? Ma'am, I want to know why you lied on the phone to the police. Said I was intimidating and scaring y'all. You are. And talking junk. I mean, I, I won't do nothing. You are. She was behind a wall the whole time and did a cam back. Nice try, liar. Look that. So why are you lying? Everybody's gonna see this. Hey, Everybody. Hey, 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 hey. Lying through your damn teeth. You shouldn't do that, man. You're going to get me hemmed up with the damn police for a lie. Sir, can I help you? Yes, sir. Hi, sir. I'm the postmaster. Hey, I'm Tony and Cuevas. Telling lies. They, they was all lying on the phone. Boy, please. Mm -hmm. Lying. That's all, they, that's all they did was lie. I went in there. You don't have the right to take photos. I do have a right to. Okay, here's the postal inspector. Now, he's doubling, tripling, and quadrupling down on the lie that he's not allowed to film inside the post office. This guy's an idiot. This is who's in charge of this post office. Be here. Yes, I do. You need to, you need to read up on it because you're you, a sadly mistake. You educate us. How about that? You're supposed to have a poster in there, a poster seven. Look it up. That's second or third time now, two different officers. He's brought three different officers. You count the postal inspector. He's brought up poster seven. So, poster seven. 
Doesn't have anything to do with coming in. It does have all to do with this film. Doesn't have anything to do with coming in and filming. It says it right on there, douchebag. It says it right on there. I'm right here. There's a big old, there's a big old paragraph about photography inside of a government facilities. Yes. So stop shaking your head, imbecile. Yes, it does say that. You're an idiot. Go, go ahead and quote that. Verbatim. Now Delgado need his, needs it quoted verbatim or else, or somehow it's, it doesn't matter if the dude can't quote it verbatim while they're surrounding him with guns and all lying and being idiots. Poster 7, Delgado. Do you have a phone with the Google search bar on it? Type in US Postal Poster 7 or USPS Poster 7 and read it. It's one page. I ain't got to quote it. They you can look it up. I'm not going to. They can learn. I mean, you're trying to educate us on something, correct, sir? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Correct. He said poster seven. Now do your research. Okay, I know so that, if you're going to educate us, I don't us, know it word for word. Know. It's the best to look. Poster seven, Del Dufus. Get up. Do you have a I don't have it with sort? me, no. Well, I mean, for they you. Do you have a cell phone with a Google search on it? Computers everywhere. You probably. Well, I mean, it ain't my job to, to do their job. I mean, is it your job to come and harass people? At I'm not harassing no. There's the yeah, false accusation number two, three, four. He wasn't harassing anyone. He was filming the post office, which is perfectly legal. How about you inform the people that it's lawful and you swore to protect this guy's rights to do so? That's your job, Del Dummy. Body. Okay. See, that's the thing. Okay. I never harassed nobody. I walked in there, mm -hmm. I was filming, and that was it. Okay. And did they ask you to leave? Several times. Okay. And because... Well, what's that have to do with anything? Why would they ask him to leave? He isn't doing anything that requires him to leave. He isn't bothering anybody. You're the idiots escalating all this. You're the idiots that don't know what Poster 7 is. You're a postal employee on camera saying Poster 7 doesn't say what it says. You, you just didn't want to? Because I don't got to. You don't got to? I don't got to. So now he's making fun of the fact that he said got to instead of I don't have to. That bothers me too, but again, he's using it as a reason to be a, a, a you know what. A, a federal waffle. building. You don't a blue waffle. That's what he's using it as a reason to be. Got to. No. Okay. Because I'm allowed to go in there and Switch film. In. Good citizen. I'm allowed to go in there and then it just switches over to what's your name? What part of he's allowed to go in there? Why'd you want to skip over that part there, Del Dummy? What's your name? Good citizen. An officer of the law is asking you what did you uh, This is not a stop and ID state. Here we go again. An officer of the law is asking you to ID. How about another? There's another law you don't know. You're an embarrassment to men, period, and police. Dude, don't try that shit on me. Okay. Are you crazy? You have your ID? Yeah, but. He just said don't try it on him, and, and then the second thing you do is try it on him again. You're an idiot, dude. There's your legacy, Delgado. I got it. You're Can not get getting it? it. Why not? Because this is not a stopping ID so you state. you want to know who I am, but I can't know who you're you are. Here's another uh, cop explaining. You want to know who I am. You are paid by the public, dummy. Hello. You are not a private business as much as you want to be and act like it. Serving, I ain't. You work for me. I don't work for you. I don't work for you. I work for the city. You work for me. I don't work for you. I work for the city. More cops planning. The city is the people. Without people, there's no city. It's called blank land. Kind of like what's between your ears. And no, who pays you? Who pays work, your salary? I work for the city. Taxes, right? I work for the city. Taxes, so. correct? Okay. Now you're gonna get all shitty on. Okay. Okay. I guess taxes. I guess. <laughs> Okay, okay. Because I'm trying to educate everybody, I'm and you don't like it. No, sir. Yes, you, yes it is. What you do is to quote verbatim if you want to. Quote verbatim. Poster 7, Del Dummy. Google it. It'll take you 30 seconds instead of doing all the cops pointing. I don't know the exact no, word, but I just know. Okay. How about that? I'm not doing your job so and your job and your job. What I'm encouraging you to do is that if you want to educate people, you should probably have... I will print it. How about you encourage the postmaster or the postal inspector to know the laws pertaining to the post office before he gets promoted to post postal inspector? You idiot. Up and put some in my back pocket if that's what I need to do. That'd be great. Yeah, that's all I'm asking. But I mean, you can look it up. Okay. Just like that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? What's the? I'd be okay. Okay. 
I'd be doing your what's, job. What's the poster? It's called Poster 7. Poster 7? Yes. Who, print, who makes that? The Homeland Security. Homeland Security. Yes. Poster 7. Okay. Yes. Please, please educate yourself. You were, you were downtown, weren't you? I was. Okay. Yes. Now we got idiot number three here. Or four or five. I don't know which one this is. Act stupid right off the bat. I was, and I'm, I'm going to go to the rest of them, too. Was it? I just don't understand the purpose behind it. The purpose is, that's I can do it. That's that's so that's, that's my only it. purpose. I mean, just because you can doesn't... This idiot right here. Just because you can, don't mean you should. Another cop explaining propaganda. Well, just because you guys can pull over anybody for any reason and just make up stuff and lie, don't mean you should. Just because you could target people you don't like, don't mean you should. Just because 40% of you can beat your wives and family and pets and get away with it, don't mean you should. Just because you can violate everybody's rights, don't mean you should. Just because you could team up with the judge and be corrupt and be with the blue line system, don't mean you should. You're an idiot too, lady. The brick background is cool, especially with the corner there. Gives it depth. I mean, you should. That, that, I mean, that don't make it, it's not illegal. I never said it was. Okay. I was just asking. All right. If it's not illegal, what's the problem? Go back inside, explain to them he's perfectly within his rights to do what he's doing. Stop texting your uh, boyfriend's lover and go in there and tell him what the law is. And tell him to leave the guy alone. Just a curiosity. Can I get your name, sir? Can you read? You want to be a smart ass too? Yeah. No, I, I mean, okay. You tell, you I can't see it from here. My eyes. I mean, I ain't got freaking. You know, I mean, a hundred freaking, a hundred hundred vision or nothing like that. You won't. Let, but you won't tell us your name. I'm not supposed to. I'm not. I don't. Another idiot. You won't tell us your name. Read the Fourth Amendment, dummy. I have to. Y'all work for me. I don't work for y'all. Uh, that's not how that works. Can I get close enough to see? That is how that works, dummy. That is how that works. God, they police hate the law. They hate the law. Your name badge. What's your name? Good citizen. Good citizen. Yep. Okay. Two five five. All right. You just having a bad day today? I'm not having a. I'm having a bad day. You're an idiot too. Another idiot. Right away assuming that this guy is the one who's the problem because somebody else called. Another idiot that doesn't know the law. Right here. There's your legacy. 255. Five. Bad day. I'm having a great day. I, I'm serious. All I was doing was filming. And then she going to tell some lies that I was harassing and, and do. Okay. All I did was just right here. Fourth police officer now that he told that she made a false report. They're not going to do nothing to her. If that's harassment, dude, you have to lock a lot of people up. You know what I mean? What, what's the purpose for... It's educational to, to educate them. Who's that? I, also yourselves, because a lot of people don't know that I'm leg I can legally go into a post office, any a government facility, and film. Mm -hmm. that, I mean, that's that's it. To educate the public. Well, like I said, you understand why people are uncomfortable with that, right? I, I suppose, but they're uncomfortable. Don't. Why do you keep bringing that up? It has nothing to do with the law. You're a law enforcement officer. Enforce the law. Leave your stupid opinions at your house. Trump my rights, though. You know what I mean? The clerk in there said that he specifically asked you not to film him because he doesn't It don't him. matter. He works for the government. I can film him all day long. Every There's the face of a... Uh, look at... Oh, my God. Oh, he's right. That is the law. The law sucks right now. All I want to do is just kidnap this guy and throw him in a cage. But people are so uncomfortable with cameras, and I'm wearing a camera... I'm the epitome of hypocrisy right now. Look at my face. Hey, I mean, I, it's nothing illegal about what I'm doing. Well, if they ask you to leave. You just short circuited right there. If you don't, then it would be. I, 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 get, I mean, if y'all want to play that card too, I mean, we can take it to court. And well, if they ask you to leave and you don't, then it would be. I, I get, they ask you to leave and you don't. Well, no, no. They need to have a legitimate reason to ask them to leave. Not because they're butthurt pansies that don't know what the Constitution is and have never read it in their life. That's their fault that they're uneducated. Look at that face. So distressed that you can't perform your tyranny.
And if y'all want to play that card too, I mean, we can take it to court and then we can do it like that. Well, that's the thing. So they asked you to leave. They told you they don't. Because, want you to for no reason. It, I won't. I won't interfering in no um, no business of theirs because they want nobody in there. If I'm impeding business, then they got a legitimate reason. But they don't have a legitimate reason. Yeah, was I getting mail? No, sir. I do not have a mailbox here. Are you delivering any mail? My purpose is irrelevant. Again, this guy's going to try to cop explain him into some type of crime. Right here. That was my purpose. Well, if they want you to leave, then it would probably be in your best interest to leave. Uh, more cop explaining. If they want you to leave, it's probably in your best interest to leave. How about you, how about you just tell us, the, do I have to leave under the law? Yes or no? That's my question to this pig. You're disgusting, bro. You're a cop explaining loser. It's in your best interest to obey your oath because one day the S is going to hit the fan real hard and it's going to be splattering everywhere. If I don't, if I go back in there, will, will you arrest me? Well, they, they can pursue trespassing charges. You're not here doing any business. Yes, he is. He already pointed to his camera and said that's his business. Because you you don't get to decide what his business is. His business is protected under the First Amendment, which you swore to uphold. Piglet. No reason to be here. Listen, this is my business, though. See, that's what... That's what so he pointed to the camera and said, this is my business. And then this tall, lurpy douchebag just shakes, shakes his head no, just like the postal employee did, just like the postal inspector did. They're all suffering from the same disease. I don't understand. I know what you, I didn't buy a stamp. I can go buy a stamp and then I have business. I mean, well, then your business will be concluded. <laughs> but see, that's what I'm saying. I, I'm not trying to tell y'all what to do. I, I, I'm beyond, I'm, I'm not even, I'm not trying to be an asshole about it. And neither I, are we. I, I'm just trying to educate. Neither are we. That's why we've been, we've been a holes the whole time we've been here. Everybody that don't know that it, you can go in the post office and record. I right, mean, that's, so you did, and then yeah. they asked you to leave. Well, no, but and now, they, now that... said, I'm going back in there just because they don't want you to be there. And that's what I don't understand about it. That's the whole point of activism. I'm allowed to be there. You're not allowed to be butthurt and take action over it. You understand? That's how that works. Oh, no. Go away. Pause. But nobody in there. About it. By going in there because they told they, they lied. For one, they lied. Okay, they told me they told who it. Now they've been told multiple times that they've made a false police report. Dispatcher, I was harassing. They won't, but nobody in there. The old guy was in there. He said, "You can't film in here." I said, "Yes, sir, I can." I mean, I was even polite. But then he, tell, he tells dispatch that I was cussing and raising, I mean, that I was harassing people. They want him nobody in there. What's going on, bud? Hey, now. You a supervisor? Yeah. This guy's halfway sane, and you can tell he's already annoyed that he has to be there. He's going to try to cop explain his way out, too, but this guy does a good job of not letting them cop explain their way. This, I mean, I thought he this is a good citizen. Yes, yeah, good citizen. You. Your name and badge number, please. How you pronounce that, man? It's like towel, but with a Y. Yeah. Yowel? Yowel. Yowel? You say towel. See, that's why I didn't want to say it. Right. So, <laughs> I mean, badge number? What, so what's S forty nine? So what's what's the deal, man? What's going on? I, I'm just I'm just out having a wonderful day recording. I, I'm I'm, you know, you heard the First yeah, Amendment, I, right? I've already, I've already talked to you once before. So they they asked you to leave. Yeah. That doesn't mean anything. But t legally, I don't have to leave because they feel uncomfortable because I got a camera. I I'm trying to educate them. They, uh, they, they. Then they want to. Y'all want to, me to quote the exact printing that's on Poster Seven? My memory's for crap. I want to remember your name when I when I leave. You, you understand? So I can't remember. The it's Yawel. The whole thing. But on Poster Seven, it says that Gentlemen, I can. Yeah. I want you to, because you want to, you want to get videos, you want a, a YouTube channel. It ain't got no, 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 sir. I see, there you go. Now, see. You, you, you want me to explain to you some stuff? I, I want to help you out. That's, <sighs> That's a lie. Okay. So, you understand that. 
even in North Carolina, you have a right if, if it's an unlawful, unlawful arrest to resist arrest. You know that? Yeah. It's every state. You can resist arrest if it's unlawful. The trick of that is you got to be right. Uh, the trick of that is don't ever do it because they'll never deem you right against themselves. So while it might be written that way, it's never, ever, ever been enforced that way in maybe a handful of occasions only. So that's a poor example. I got to be what? You got to be right. So if these officers reach a point where they've, they've established that you violated some law, they can arrest you for it. Right. I understand. Well, they've had plenty of time to figure that out. And so has the postal inspector. So why is there eight plus people that don't know anything about the law working in law enforcement in the post office? Yeah, but, but I hadn't violated the law. Okay. So I, just because y'all don't so know the law don't okay, mean so I violated it. So help me out. You know what what is, what, what's your, what's, what, what's legitimate? So what? help me out. Why don't any of you know the law? Why? What's your purpose? What do you want to do? Th this is my purpose. I'm trying to educate not only th these these people that work in the post office, but yourselves, because ev evidently y'all don't know that it's okay to film in a post what? office. No one's... Has anybody... I didn't stop you from recording uh, down the head. Uh, uh, no one stopped you. This guy's kidding, right? No one stopped him? Then why is there five of you cops here and the postal inspector, and two dumb post office employees. No one's stopping you. That's exactly why you're all acting up like idiots right now on camera. Because you tried to stop him. When he's perfectly within his rights. Oh. No. I just said because they asked you to leave. Right. They said that... But they, they lied and said I was harassed and doing all kinds of stuff, but I didn't do. So you should lock them up for false uh, 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 911 call or whatever. Correct. You think they will? Absolutely not. And again, this, this video proves they don't care about the law. They care about how they feel. And the only reason they're actually not probably hemming this guy up and arresting him is because he's recording. That's how important it is to record everything, people. Record, record, record. Record and just erase it later if it's nothing happens. I mean, come on now. See, we're, we're, we're now you're getting into a little more of the subjective. I mean, give me a second. What's harassment to me might not be harassment to them, and vice versa. What's harassment to them may not be harassment to us. Putting, a, putting, a, bringing my camera into the post office, that can't be classified as harassment. Yeah, now what, are we putting it in people's faces? No, I wasn't no. nowhere close to none of them. Exactly. End of story. Get the hell out of here. Go tell the stupid post office employees and inspector that he's well within his rights. And you guys go find a real crime. I, mean, I wonder if a, a rape kit could have been uh, examined with all the labor used for this guy with the camera. I wonder. Okay. I mean, also, I got it all on film, so. Yeah, I, I know you do, clearly. So right. You understand why that also kind of makes people uncomfortable. I, I, they, uh, they on camera all day. These cameras. Yeah. You know what makes people uncomfortable? Another just cops playing after cops playing. There. I mean, they they on camera everywhere they go. Banks. I, I mean, Walmart. I am too. I understand. I understand. I, I'm not. I'm not like that. I, I mean, I was way back there, dude. Behind. You and I understand that. That makes them uncomfortable. So. But that's not my problem for them to be uncomfortable, though. You understand? If every if I had to stay away from everybody that's uncomfortable, I couldn't even leave my house. Understand? So I'm gonna help you out again. So. It's like Delgado actually printed something up. Their threshold for uncomfortable may be different than mine. So if you make them uncomfortable and then you start interfering with them doing their daily right. listen. More cops planning. Talking. Okay, go, go ahead, man. I so got you. you start interfering with If them. you start doing a bunch of things that you never did to begin with, then we'll get you. Doing their job. Now you're starting to get into that great, that maybe ambiguous, however, but certainly an area where you're starting to interfere with the daily business of the post office. I wish the camera didn't die here, but. Because I would have loved to have seen uh, what Delgado pulled out of his hiney. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please go to John's Coin Rings. Type in John's Coin Rings into Google with no spaces. It'll bring up my store. I have beef jerky there. I have beautiful coin rings. Please like and subscribe. When you click subscribe, click the bell. Click the thumbs up. I love you a long time. Ah, me so horny. Ow, ow, ow. My, my voice is shut. Thanks for watching. If you're still watching after 35 minutes. I'd give you a hug if you were here. Since you're not, though, and you probably don't smell all that good. You know what I'm spraying? All right. See ya.